Uh, but we did come out today to celebrate life. Amen. Amen. Anybody know we came out to celebrate Amen. life? We came Amen. out to thank God for those 37 years. God, we would have preferred that it would have been longer. God, we would have preferred that you would have kept our brother here a little bit longer. But God, we want to stop and say thank you for the time you did loan our brother to us, God. We thank you for the life and the legacy of our dear brother. Amen. So now our program calls for a selection by Reverend Higgins. Amen. Amen. Texas has come unto me, all ye that are laboring and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Uh, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and low in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Amen. 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 Next we'll have um, our prayer by Minister Sylvia Rhodes. Amen. Good morning, family. Good morning. And I just want to uh, first say 
extend my love uh, to the family. And I want to pray and ask God to comfort you and keep you. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we first give you all honor, glory, and praise. God, though the sun is not shining outside, the sun, living God, is shining within each one of us. So, yes, God, God, we praise you for that. No yes, matter God. what it looks like, yes, God. we know, God, that you are still on the throne. Yes, God. And we know, God, that you live. And because you live, we live. Yes, God. So, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we invite you into this place. We ask, God, that you would extend your angels, Father God, and camp them, Father, at the bedside, Heavenly Father. And camp your angels in the car, Heavenly Father. Yes, and camp your angels around this family, God, as they move throughout the rest of the day and next week and next month, God, yes, God. and next year. God, we trust you. God, we love you. And we know that you are a keeping God. But more than anything, you are a God cannot lie. Yes, God. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. So Lord, we just ask you right now to come down, Lord, and give peace, comfort, and guidance. Yes, God. We love you and we thank you. Yes, God. And it's in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, that we pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We thank Minister Rose for that prayer. Amen. The program calls for acknowledgments at this moment, but as we've stated before, we want to try to keep this service brief as possible. So Sister Lewis will give you the acknowledgement on behalf of Community Hope as we depart. Amen. So we won't read the full acknowledgement for Community Hope, but please know that your church family of Community Hope loves you and are with you on today. Amen. The program now calls for us to read the obituary silently. Amen. <laughs> to two minutes. Amen. Is there anyone selected from the family? Amen. Amen. I know that this is a difficult occasion, but for me, it is an honor and a blessing to be here. I met Sue a couple of years ago in such an odd way, but I'll leave that out. <laughs> but uh, God sent her to me and me to her. And so uh, it has been a blessing. Yes. Anthony, um, I feel like I just met him just a few years ago, a uh, couple years after meeting Sue. And the way I got to know Anthony was it didn't matter what kind of weather was going on, Anthony would be out there tinkering with his car. <laughs> if it was raining, the hood was up. If it was snow on the ground, he was on the ground trying to change a flat car. And I watched him just press through that. I watched him struggle through that. He was always polite. Good morning, Miss Sylvia. How are you, Miss Sylvia? If I was headed out to church, Miss Sylvia, you look good today. So that just made me feel even better before I could get to where I was going. And one day I was in the store and I saw these little glove warmers that you would stick in under the glove when you were outside. And God just put Anthony on my heart. And I gave him these glove warmers. But what that made me think of is that we should all have a warm heart mm -hmm. towards one another. We should all allow the love of Christ to flow through us to that person that we may not know. 
One day I was walking through the complex and I saw Anthony tinkering with his car again. <laughs> and this day was a really warm day and I had my walk on you all. I didn't want to stop, but I could just feel the presence of God come over me. And God said, go and pray for him. So I walked up to Anthony, he was in the car. He had both legs in and I said, Anthony, can I pray for you? And he said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and he turned halfway out of the car. He had one leg out. He wouldn't stand up because he knew he would be standing over me. And before I could make a move, Anthony extended his hands to me. And we took hands and I began to pray. One thing I have learned because of the word of God is do not be too quick to lay hands on people. And the Spirit of God had me lay hands upon Anthony. And as I prayed for him, Anthony just began to go back into the seat. From that moment on, we had a spiritual connection. And I know Sue doesn't even know any of this. And that was not our first time that we prayed together. And that was not the first time that we shared words. Never take it for granted who God puts before you. Never take it, to grant, take it for granted where you are. Because as I said, God gave me Sue and me to Sue. And you are blessed and you give God the glory when you can show love and kindness to others. Anthony, he lives within our heart. Amen. Death does not take love away. Death does not take our memories away. And there have been nights that I have been on my knees and laid on my face, and I have prayed. And sometimes God would not allow me to let the prayer go that I was praying for Anthony. And Antoine... Last night, God wouldn't let me let you go. I will continue to lift you all up. And I'm going to say this. I thank God for the sun that shines in here today. I thank God for the peace and for the joy that he will give us in spite of our sorrow and our pain. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Yeah. And though you cry and you weep today, and maybe in a year or two years, because I lost a brother four years ago, and today is his birthday. Oh. And I cry because I miss him, but I'm happy and I'm excited because he still lives in me, and I know where he will spend eternity. So let's give God the glory, and just thank you, and thank you, Sue, for thank allowing you. me to share your son. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Once again, Sister Lois, on behalf of Community Hope, we want you to know that our prayers are with you during this time. We would have other members here but we also have a homegoing service going on in Lexington. So some of our church is actually in Lexington, and then some are here to help support you. It's during this time that we think about what happened with David in Scripture. When David found out that his son had passed away, a lot of people didn't want to tell David what was going on because they didn't know how David was going to respond. But when they told David that his son had passed, David did something weird. David went home and got something to eat. David cleaned up and he began to praise God. And they said, David, why are you acting like that? David said, nothing I can do now can bring my son back to me. But David said, I can live in such a way that I can once again see my son in the afterlife. So we just want to encourage you today that don't you dare say goodbye to your loved one. You just tell your loved one, I'll see you later. Amen. Amen. So now our selection calls for another musical selection by Reverend Higgins. Amen.
Thank God. Thank you. I sing because I'm happy. Yes. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. Yeah. And even right now, I know. Yeah. I know that he's watching. He's watching over me. Amen. And I know he's watching over this family as well. Amen, beloved. Amen. For a few moments, beloved, I was going back and forth on what words to share with you on this morning. And when I look at Psalms 46, verse number one, Psalm 46, verse number one said, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in a time of trouble. And beloved, for about five good minutes, I just want to encourage somebody to tell you to hang in there. Uh, I just want somebody to know right now to just hang, hang in there. Uh, you see, beloved, because the writer of the text was writing to a group of people uh, that were dealing with some trouble. Uh, they were dealing with trouble because the government was causing a problem. Uh, they were dealing with trouble because there was a problem going on in the community. They were uh, dealing with trouble because there was a problem even going on in the church. And beloved, I don't know about you, but that sounds like what we're dealing with even right now. You see, beloved, because we live in a society where there's trouble going on. You see, beloved, we're not only are we dealing with COVID-19, but we're also dealing with racism. Not only are we dealing with racism, but we're dealing with people who are struggling to make ends meet. Beloved, in other words, we're dealing with trouble. One of the things I found out about trouble is you don't even have to go looking for trouble. You see, beloved, because some days trouble will come looking for you. And see, the thing I also found out about trouble is you don't have to be in church to be exempt from trouble. Trouble doesn't care where you live at. Trouble doesn't care how much money you have. Trouble will find you wherever you are. And one last thing we need to know about trouble, beloved, is each one of us must come this way. You see, it doesn't matter where you work at. We're still going to have to come this way. And the question must be asked, when it's your time to come this way, have you made proper preparation? Amen. Have you given your life to Christ? Can you honestly say absent from the body is to be present with the Lord? You see, beloved, I love in the text how the writer says that God is our refuge. So the first thing I learned in the text that God is our shelter. And you may wonder, why is it important to have shelter right now? And I was thinking on my way here that it was raining outside. But the main reason I did not get wet is because my wife had an umbrella. In other words, the umbrella was my shelter. Now the shelter did not stop the rain from falling. It just protected me in the rain. God may not protect you from the storm, but oh, we serve a God who can protect you in the storm. We serve a God that no matter what you go through, God said, I'll be with you. In other words, God said, if you make your bed on the mountain, there I will be. But unfortunately, if you find yourself in the valley, God said, there I will be also. And so, beloved, on today, we want to encourage you to let you know that we know a God who can be a shelter. Not only did he say God is our refuge, but then he goes on to say that God is our strength. And I've got a sneaky suspicion this morning that somebody here needs some strength. I got a sneaky suspicion somebody's wondering how could God take my brother? How could God take my son? How could God take my friend? And you see, beloved, sometimes God does things that we cannot give you an answer for. But sometimes God does things that's above the way we think. But the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8, and we know. Uh, that all things work together for good to them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Uh, so, beloved, on today, if Brother Anthony means something to you, uh, we encourage you to live your life in such a way uh, that you can say, I will see my brother yeah. again. I know that God will give you strength. And then the last thing we see in the text, uh, he says that God is a very present help mm -hmm. in trouble. And oh, beloved, sometimes we can't count on family. Sometimes we can't count on church. Sometimes we can't count on our job. 
But isn't it good to know that we can count on a God who said he's a very present help? And the thing I love about God is God is not like some of the friends I have. Can I stop for a second and tell you about some of my friends? Uh, you see, some of my friends expect me to be there all the time for them. Oh, but when I call on them, yeah. they don't have enough minutes on their phone. Mm -hmm. But when I call on them, yeah. they're too busy for me. But I'm so glad I know a friend yeah. that whenever I call him, he's always yeah. right there. I can call God at midnight, yeah. and he'll always answer for me. Yeah. And when I call God, I don't even have to tell him who I am. Amen. Because God knows my voice. Yeah. Beloved, we want to encourage you on today that even though your heart may be hurting, Hang in there. Mm -hmm. Even though you may be going through some pain, hang in there. Because we serve a God who hung up there mm -hmm. so that you and I yeah. can hang in there. Yeah. Oh, beloved, on today, we want to encourage you. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I give unto you. Yes, we offer you Christ. Mm -hmm. So, beloved, we've been trying to say for the last six minutes, hang, mm -hmm. hang in there. Yes. Trouble don't last always. The scripture we read earlier in Matthew chapter 11, Come unto me, all ye that are laboring and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Oh, beloved, God has given our dear brother his rest. God has given him the rest from the struggles of this old tired world. Our loved one is okay. Now it's about yes. us. Yes. Now it's about how we're going to live our life. So even right now, beloved, we want to extend that invitation. Yes. I know you may be wondering how are we going to extend an invitation at a homegoing service. Mm. But what better time than now come on, preacher. to say, come unto me, mm -hmm. all ye that are laboring and are heavy laden. Mm -hmm. You may be frustrated, but come unto me. Mm -hmm. You may be depressed, but come unto me. You may live in the west end, the east end, the yes. south end, but come on to, come on to me. Yes. And God said, I will give you rest. rest. All right. So, beloved, on today, we pray that something was said. We pray that something was done that would encourage you on today. Uh, once again, Sister Lewis, please know that our, our thoughts are with you and the entire family. Um, if we can do anything for you, please do not hesitate to call on us. We know you have a lot of friends and family around you now, but next week, mm -hmm. the week after next, yeah. when you try to get back to your regular yeah. life, understand that God is still with you. Mm -hmm. And that's not just to Sister Lewis. We understand to our dear brother. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to pray for you as well. To our dear sister, we're going to continue to pray for you as well. And to the entire family, please know that on behalf of Community Hope, our prayers and our <laughs> thoughts are with you. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Amen. So let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, holy is your name. God, we come to you this morning and we just first want to say thank you. Uh, God, we thank you for the life and the legacy of our dear brother, Brother Lewis. Uh, God, we ask that you would continue to bless this family. God, we ask that you would continue to give them peace, continue to give them comfort. God, in a way that only you can. Uh, God, we ask that you would just continue to sup with us. God, continue to minister to us as the ways of the world. God, on today, we just want to once again thank you for the life and the legacy of our dear brother. Now, God, as we shall leave, God, we ask that you will just bless the people. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Lord and our Savior, be majesty and power, dominion and glory both now and forevermore. Amen.
gentleman serving as pallbearers, any gentleman serving as pallbearers, if I can have you come forward.